Yo, what's up guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. <laughs> we are starting off today's video with a little package. We've got some clothes in here um, and it is quite literally my job to take some photos in said clothes. So I'm going to show you what they are, try them on and take some pics. Hope you're all well. Hope you're ready for the sickest video you ever did see. Drop it a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you want to. Because we have the MP Men's Outline Graphic Shorts in black, size M. MP Outline Graphic Short Sleeve T-shirt, black. MP Men's Outline Graphic Hoodie, black. Let's do this. <laughs> So right here we have the new outline range. Why is it called outline you say? I'm so glad you asked. It's because the writing here is the outline rather than the bold print. It's the outline, hence the outline range. So we've got the hoodie, the t-shirts and the shorts, which feels kind of like a rest day type material. Very, very excited to try these. I'm gonna take a pick with the resistance bands and crack on with the day. This is getting kind of messy now, right? We've got bags, we've got tubs upon tubs of clear way, and uh, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely problem to have, but this is messy. And soon, I will have a reason to sort out this shelf and give it a good old clear out. Well, by a clear out, I just mean organize it so that the clear way is all together. Oh God, the clear way is all together and the, the protein and the muck cakes and stuff. It will just make a bit more sense. It used to make perfect sense, but I mean, we kind of just got overloaded with stuff over Christmas and now it looks like this, which is great. But you know, I, I can do better. As it is something that is actually in the background of the videos, pretty much every day, I want it to look good, you know? There's lots of cool colors. It's my clear way shelf. We're somewhat known for it. People comment about it all the time. It's a cool thing, right? So it needs to be looking the part, especially for some news that we have coming up very, very soon. You know, it's gotta be looking the part. So, you guys see the title of today's video. Um, a little bit later on I actually have a bit of a, it's not a meeting, it's kind of like a, a presentation type thing um, with my protein. It's like a, it's like an update for all the affiliates, ambassadors, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're doing like a, an update on all of the products to come in 2021, uh, hence the title of this video. So I'm only going to be able to show you a certain amount, tell you a certain amount, but I'm going to give you some sneak peeks and something that other people just potentially won't show you, probably because you're not really supposed to, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to take the risk. What is coming up for my protein in 2021? Or we shall see in just a little bit. Drop the video a like if you're excited for that. For now though, I'm gonna go with one of my favorites. One of Malone Clear Wet. I'm gonna mix that up in one of my shakers. We might go for the gold one today. Oh, oh no, I'm feeling the camo shaker. See, this is what I mean, right? When I talk about protein and pre-workouts and different shakers and stuff like this, there's method to my madness. And when I say that, I mean it will make sense in just a second because in this instant, this is filmed about 30 seconds after the previous clip, right? But through the seamless power of editing, you were seeing it in the same go. I've decided to switch flavors, right? Because I, I was just fancying the cranberry. I was fancying the watermelon at first. Then I spied this tub and I was like, mmm. I'm feeling some cranberry and raspberry today. So I like having all of the different options of the pre's, all of the different options for the, um, uh, proteins, whether it is a, a whey protein or a clear whey isolate. I like having all of the different flavors because let's be honest, you're in a different mood for something every single day. And sometimes if you're picky like me, you can't always predict what kind of mood you're gonna be in. So having a shelf full of all of the flavors, although they don't get all used at once, I'm going for about a scoop and a half of this, by the way. Even if the flavors don't all get used in one go, it just means that you have that variety, right? And that's what helps me stick to my diet, right? Right now I could pick out on some chocolate, I'm, I'm craving something sweet, hence the cranberry and raspberry, right? So I'm having this as a replacement, this will fill me up a little bit, plenty of protein, jobs are good in, you know, win, 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 win. 
and I had the pick of the bunch. Up there we've got bitter lemon, we've got mojito, peach tea, watermelon, the refreshers flavor, tropical dragon fruit, pink grapefruit, strawberry, we've got lemon lime downstairs, grape downstairs. You guys, you know what I mean? We've got pretty much every flavor to choose from. That is a very, uh, well, it's a luxury. I'm, I'm aware of that. But if it is something that you have the facilities to do, if you have the um, the space, basically, and obviously the money to buy the supplements, it's not, shouldn't be the priority. But if you have the money and, and the space to, to keep this amount, I would recommend having that amount, purely because then you, you can't go wrong with it, right? When you think, ah, oh, I've only got the strawberry, I don't quite fancy strawberry today, I'll just have a chocolate bar instead, you know? You can actually have a flavor that you fancy that helps you stay on track really and that is exactly what i'm doing today we're keeping this ball clean remember cheers so the time is six o'clock that little meeting is at seven o'clock i've got some work to do first and then we'll talk about the new products i'm buzzing for this you know i'm absolutely buzzing can you oh. hear me there we go Hey, hey, how's it going? I just thought it would be something different to kind of brief you, like on a video call, especially obviously during COVID, kind of give it a more personal touch. We kind of scout out some new talent. We're always looking for some new talent. Um, our kind of bigger names, we um, get them onto contracts. A basically limited edition collab with New Era, which is really exciting. New graphics, new colorways. Seeing our weekly ambition influence and weekly challenges, which is fun. Thanks, everyone. Hi. 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 Thanks. Well, that was sick. Spent the entire time in what I would call the working from home outfit attire. So we've got a hat on, you know, because locked down hair. We've got MP because, you know, it was a meeting for my protein. We've got MP socks on and no buttons. Just in boxes. That's because we're working from home. This is technically work for me. That was something that I had to attend to you know, for part of my job, right? So we sat in the corner, in my little desk office type thing, malarkey, thingy my bob, and we worked from home, hashtag WFH, in as little clothing as possible. But you guys will have seen some of the stuff there and it is awesome. I'm not gonna show you the, the garments themselves, but collections that I love, that you guys love, um, they are bringing them back better than ever. Right, we've got collabs. My protein have upped their collab game. Not only have they upped their clothing game, because I, I think you would agree, the clothing over the last six to 12 months has definitely leveled up in comparison to maybe a few years ago when I first started using the brand. When you guys, a lot of you guys, will have started using the brand, it's been longer than that actually, it's been a long time about 10 years. Anyway, they've seriously upped their clothing game and they are doing so even more so with collabs. Collabs from some serious seriously big brands like around the world brands that you will have heard of brands that i'm not going to name but you guys can see in the first kind of quarter of the year this was like a q1 meeting type thing i.e up to like march so we just got to smash it until then and i'm looking forward to doing so so much coming your way in the next few weeks <laughs> So not only is it going to be an exciting few weeks for my protein, it is also going to be an exciting few weeks for me, personally, right? There is a lot going on in my life right now that I haven't told you guys about. I haven't been in a position to tell you guys about. I'm still not really, hopefully over the next few days, I can give some form of clarification and start to kind of explain about what is is going on. There's going to be lots of changes over the next few weeks in particular that I'm absolutely buzzing about. I cannot wait to tell you guys. I've been keeping certain things for, for a secret for a, a, a long time, a long, long time, a good four or five, maybe more months. Um, certain things I've been working on um, and I'm excited to share them. So not only for me personally, um, in my, my business life, in my personal life, um, change is coming and I'm excited about it. So, back to what I was saying earlier about protein. So, if having the variety of flavors of protein, right, if having the, that different variety, having that shell full, having the salted caramel way, having the chocolate orange way, having the peach tea clear way isolate on the other hand, having a mojito flavor, you know, having all of them stocked up, regardless if it's protein, if it's pre-workout, if it's bars, if it's having loads of different types of cookie, you know, the oat bakes bar, lots of different varieties, right? If having that, is gonna be the difference, make or break, between you taking part in the exercise and doing something that's good for you, that's good for your physical and mental health, and not, 
do it. Not everyone is like that, but I am, and so I know a lot of you guys will be too, right? If you don't have the options, you might not necessarily go for the healthy option, right? If I don't have a Lodo there, sometimes I might have a pizza, you know, so I'll make a Lodo instead. I realize it's not an option for everybody, but I'm kind of going by the logic of if you've made it to this point in the video, and you're actually watching this video in the, per in the first place because of the title, then you have somewhat of an interest in supplements, right? And so you're probably gonna be splashing a little bit of cash every single month or every single six weeks or whatever on supplements, right? So spend that money right, spend that money wisely and spend it on what is actually gonna help you. Don't just buy a product just because you've seen someone else use it and you think it might be cool. If you think something is genuinely gonna help you or you've had a product in the past and you tasted it and you love it, you've got that flavor, but you're not gonna want it every single day. I don't have salted caramel way every single day. Sometimes I have street waffle. It's similar, but not the same. Do you know what I mean? But it's a slightly different taste. Having all of those different options really, really does help me and it could help you too. Personally, it's part of the fun for me, right? I like having a blue raspberry one day, I like having a cola pre the next, you know? That is a part of the process, part of something that keeps me engaged and keeps me wanting to do something. I don't have pre-workout every single time, I've been through this a million times, I'm gonna save that for a different video, right? But you guys get the gist of having all of the different options, whether it's the bars, the snacks, the pre-workouts, the proteins, whatever that thing is for you, if you have a few different options, you might find that you stick to it a little bit more than if you don't, right? That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying go and spend hundreds of pounds on my protein, although if you do, I'm never a guy that's got a code. But the bottom line is, do you need them? Hell no. But can they help you? Hell yeah. Anyone that says otherwise is just, well, daft. So if you have not already, go ahead and check out some of my other supplement videos. I go through my top three supplements. Mine, personally, right now, I'll link it at the end on the things that come up on the screen. Uh, go and check that out if you have not already. It might give you a few more ideas as to where I'm kind of at with the whole process. But that is pretty much what my protein is going to be releasing over the next few months, over the next few weeks, over the next few months. A lot coming for my protein and myself personally, so I'm excited to share. When February comes, ladies and gents, when February comes, that is when. Or actually, one thing might be happening just before February now kind of end of January, next week, 10 days or so. Anyway, oh, God knows. Right, that's where I'm at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, drop it a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Someone from my protein may be watching this video, so let them know your favorite flavor. Let them know your favorite product and let them know something that they haven't already released in the comment section. What should they bring out next? Whether it's a pre-workout, a bar, all of the things, whether it's clothes, I don't know. Just let them know. Just drop a comment. I'll let you know what I think too. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do me a massive favor. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube jazz. Thank you so much for all of your support in 2021. We are freaking smashing it. Let's get 75 likes on this vid. Together we will grow. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm like a cannonball.